Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I'm just getting ready to pack up here from a super slow and uneventful hunt, but I wanted to kind of introduce the video that you're about to watch. Uh, about a week ago, my wife was gone for the evening and I decided to take my two-year-old daughter hunting. Now, I realize this isn't my normal content. I'll just tell you right up front, you're not gonna see any deer on film and uh, you're not gonna see any deer get shot. But I think if you'll take the time to watch this video, I think it will put a smile on your face and brighten your day because it was a fun hunt nonetheless. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the hunt I had with my two-year-old daughter. Well, y'all, tonight's hunt should be one that will be quite memorable. Where'd you go, Grace? Come on. <laughs> there you are. Well, Mama had to go to a ladies' meeting tonight, and um, I honestly didn't quite know how to entertain Grace, and I wanted to go hunting. So we are gonna go. I have got the backpack loaded up with a uh, blind, her chair, snacks galore, blankets, books, the whole nine yards. Do I expect to see a deer? <laughs> no. Do you expect to see a deer? Yes, yes. She does. Well, anyways, it's about 415, 420. Uh, last time I hunted the spot we we're gonna go, I started seeing deer about five. So we're gonna try to get there, uh, get set up. <laughs> and hopefully, maybe we'll just see a deer come out uh, before everything breaks loose. I don't expect to stay, stay till dark, but we're just gonna go set up, have fun in the blind, hang out for a while, come back home and have some supper. So stick with us and see what happens. Well guys, we're all set up. Sorry, I'm like a weird angle here. I'm just trying to get in frame of the camera. Uh, it's pretty tight in here. I don't normally hunt out of this blind because honestly it's almost too tight for me to even draw my bow in this blind. It's just a little too small. Like I said, I don't expect to really honestly see anything or shoot anything tonight. This is just about uh, an experience with my daughter and uh, just kind of having some fun together doing something different. Uh, this is the same field that uh, was in my last video where I came really close to getting a shot. So, I, you know, if we can stay quiet, <coughs> right, uh, if we can stay quiet, I think we at least have a chance of seeing something come out. I moved up closer to that corner where they came out though. So if they come out, they're going to be pretty close and probably aren't going to last very long. I don't even have an arrow on my bow right now because uh, it's just a tight quarter. I didn't want that broadhead floating around in here. So if something comes out and I would actually get a shot, it would be an absolute miracle. But stay with us. We're having fun so far. We're going to read some books and eat some snacks. So I go to the Benton Den for Did my you? quiet time. You went to the Benton Den during your quiet time? Yeah. With this window up. Daddy. No, no, we have to leave that window down so we can see when the deer come out. Remember, we're looking for deer. It's the deer's in the woods. But yeah, but sometimes at nighttime, the deer's come out into the field. And then, it's... if we're really lucky and if we're very quiet, maybe we can shoot one so we can have some more deer for, for lunchtime tomorrow. We can have some fresh deer steak. You like deer meat? Yes. Yeah, me too. They're going in the field. You have to remember to be quiet, though, because if they hear you yelling, they won't come out into the field. They're going to the field. Yeah. See, they'll go in the field. There you go. Shh. Here is a bird, a king, and a heart. Did that K-word get kissed? My. Yeah. My, but you're smart. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you just go pooey in your pants? Yes. Where's mommy? Mommy went to the ladies' fellowship. Hello, pooey. Well, it's been approximately four minutes since the last update, and I think that's pretty much the end of this trip for now. Um, little Miss Two and a Half Year Old, who's supposedly potty trained, just, um, well, left a lot of scent in her pants let's just say that so i think we're gonna go back home again change her up and uh i might leave the blind here and just come back out in a little bit well it's 
5.23 and we just made it back. Oh, she's ready to read books. It's 5.23, 5.24, we just made it back. We took a quick four-wheeler ride back to the house, got her all cleaned up, changed up. And um, good news is when we got back into the mine, there was no deer in the field yet. So I don't think we spooked any out coming in. And we did have one cross the trail in front of us that was headed like it should be coming this way. So who knows, maybe that little break was what we needed to, to put us in here at the right time. And maybe in the next 30 minutes or so, maybe we'll have some deer come out. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Okay, pro tip here. A two-year-old can be extremely quiet if she has snacks. Right, Grace? Well, we just had one deer come down to the corner of the field, instantly spot the blind and blow off. <laughs> hey, at least we saw one deer. Grace, did you have fun in the tent? I ate my oranges all gone. You ate your oranges all gone? What else did you eat? Marshmallows. Okay, marshmallows and pretzels and nuts and chips. We've only been here an hour. I think we've eaten our entire cabinet of snacks. I ate snacks. Well, y'all, I think that's going to wrap it up. we got about 30 minutes of daylight left, but we're running up against time for this little girl to get to bed who missed her nap today. And, um... Honestly, the wind's blowing the exact opposite direction of forecasted, which is no good for this setup. So, uh, Beyond the two-year-old, I just don't expect to see any deer. So I think we're just going to say we had a nice time and uh, head back to the house and have some supper. What do you say, baby girl? You ready to go home? Yes. All right, let's go. Well, guys, we're on the way back home here. And, I mean, it's only a five-minute four-wheeler ride, and she's zonked out on my arm here. This little girl right here. <laughs> like I said, probably been on the floor for five minutes and she's she's gone. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know just even putting it together and watching the footage back, I just put a smile on my face. I may be a little bit biased, but I think she's one cute and special little girl. And I look forward to making many more memories with her. I hope you're getting out into the woods. I hope you're making memories with your families. And until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.